Hello everyone there in YouTube world. My name is Jono Kenobi, and welcome back to the Persona 5 Royal Let's Play. Last time, we have finally found our- we almost found our target. It, it, gameplay wise, wise, we haven't decided yes, this is a confirmed target, but we as the player know that yes, Madarami is going to be our next target. And we actually entered his palace. And tomorrow we're going to be going back to his place to kind of once again confirm, try and confirm the rumors about the plagiarism and the abuse and whatnot. How is that going to go? Well, we'll have to find out. And this is another one of the rare times where we can't do anything. So we're just going to go to bed. Give Matarame, but what on said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? I don't know. You don't know either, huh? It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I I'm not wrong, am I? We'll take him down. Oh yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Cover yourself in paint. No, just be yourself. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Yikes. She got all the Mishima today? suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? No. I don't know. I feel like she's got more makeup on or something. Nope, I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Hitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Matarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, 
Not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. You hear her? It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... Uh... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> Kitagawa-kun? Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. What about the other pupils? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Ryuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model! Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... Inconveniences. Nude, meaning it'll be without any 
clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? The only thing we can do, let's leave. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? Moron. He's totally out of his mind. I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. How dare that, Yusuke? The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi, but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna drop it. You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No, it is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself, with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too, before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Hitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Most likely. No way! Hell no! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarame's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. All right, so now our our hideout is, is now at the Shibuya Building Access Way. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh. Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? <laughs> Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. Ah. <sighs> 
Still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on, on nude, and then claiming to report us to the police? Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another change of heart? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Is that true? just spoke of is true there have to be other victims all right so tomorrow we're going to be meet, meeting with with um one of Madarami's former pupils and it's actually the guy guy's heart that we changed in mementos oh. i'm not gonna make any more coffee don't need it i got 20 of them So our hideout is is the Shibuya passageway, and Mishima said th uh, that guy should be in Shibuya as well. So let's head over there right now. Yo, we're about to head to the hideout too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara, the one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well. A very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right. We got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again, please make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. What do you mean? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. 
Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. You're right. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitago Akun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Madarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here! We can't mess this up, no matter what! Okay? okay. This is our first job for Foxhound, so let's make sure we do it right. Come on, it's time to get this mission started. So we have now, our mission to change Marami's heart has begun. And just like with Kamishida, we need to change before the deadline. We have eight, we have 18 days. So we need to, so we need to steal a heart in 18 days. So, let's just jump right in. All right, I'm gonna bust loose. So first we need to secure the infiltration route, and send the calling card. But first, we're going to go in here. Come inside, we have much to discuss. Your rehabilitation seems to be going smoothly. Thanks to you. Excellent. I expect no less. I prepared a special gift for you. I must reward such exemplary conduct. Use this power well. So, we've unlocked traits and whatnot. I don't necessarily pay too much attention to the traits. It is something that they added for Royal. <laughs> 
But uh, it's not necessarily too important, in my opinion. <laughs> your personas are born from the masks of your heart. They come in all manner of shapes and sizes. You must master the inner workings of each persona to draw out its power. Do that, and they will surely be of great use to you on your journey to rehabilitation. Then. If you have other business, you may tend to it now. And I actually did want to come in come in here. We're gonna see what new personas we can get. You certainly seem composed. So I'm gonna create new personas. Alright, so Yeah, let's start here. Not terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Alright, so we can select the trait. Uh. Just do this one. And we can select select one uh, skill to tr bring over. And we'll do that one. It will receive a fraction of power. My, my. We're going to skip that. All right, so let's see what else we can get. Nah. Uh... All right, we'll do. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the Jack Frost. Not terrible. But not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Alright, we'll get that one. And we'll bring over... Yeah, we'll bring over that one. Bring over a cure skill. And dodge fire. It will receive a fraction of power. Girls, let us begin. All right, and that's all we're going to do. You change your gun already? What? Yes, we're heading back. No slacking off. Familiarize yourself with the many facets of the heart that dwell within you. Doing so will propel you to greater heights and give you strength as you work toward your rehabilitation. Go forth. I have high expectations of you. Get with the program. You're a vital member of the team here. Alright. I'm going to take a short little break here. We'll be back momentarily. A few moments later. Alright, we're back. So let us now officially start the infiltration of the palace. And because we have not come across, we did not come across any safe rooms when we were here, we have to do do the trek all over again. However, there are going to be some changes. Number one, these things have returned, so we're going to grab we're going to grab them. So we're back here. However, there is going to be a little change. Whoa. 
Infrared laser device. If we touch it, the security will increase. Come on, it wasn't man. anything like this last time, though. The rumors might slowly be making Matarami become more wary of us. Joker, they're not easy to see, but you should be able to do it with your skills. Be careful. So yeah, if we trip the infrared lasers, the security level will go up. And you can kind of sort of see them now, but if you use your third eye, Somewhere. they'll become even more visible. And we can actually just go right under them. And now there's actually guard there's actually guards running around. And we're going to actually start encountering new personas. All the personas that we saw in the in the in the castle, we are not going to see here. All these are going to be all of these are going to be new. And we have a wind weakness. Alright, we're actually gonna gra grab him, we're gonna let, uh, uh, no need for that. Because we've, al we've already got, got this guy. Your power's incredible, Joker! Alright. All right. Now the next guy is right over here, so let's go up and grab him. All right. So these these guys are weak weak to to gunfire. Yeah, we'll go ahead and. Just so I can have some more, I can have more personas. Always good to have. You've got a new mask, Joker. Okay. All right. Next one's going to be right there. However, we can't get through there because all the blazes are lit up. So we're going to have to go this way. Alright, what we got? Alright, two we've already got. Alright, luckily I do have have some with an ice with an ice skill. Here we go. There we go. Alright, something I actually did kind of forget. I'm gonna okay. change the <laughs> our gun weapon. Because this is You do carry over all the weapons that you ha have for new game for a new game plus. So if we wanted to, I could use the strongest weapon I have strongest ranged weapon I have, but I'm not gonna do that. And you can't re you can't rebuy these, and you can't sell them either. So the next one up is going to be is this one. So I'm going to equip that to all of them. It's the next it's the next strongest strongest wa uh, ranged weapon for everybody. So there we go. Alright. There should be one more, yep, right there. Whoop! How did he see me? It's alright. Alright, so this is that actual one we need to get. So I'm gonna take Let's, see. Let's do a baton pass. Yeah, Ryuji. 
There we go. No need for that. Not bad. All right then. All right. So that's everything here. Oh, uh, nah. It's somewhere. So I continue on. So giant laser wall. We can't go through it. Well, not conveniently anyway. So let's use our grappling hook. All right. Now what we can do is we can actually hit the switch for a little shortcut. So what what that did is we don't have to go through that room that through that room anymore or or through that i have something all right so here's the main entrance I'll reveal your i think i might be going taking out both of these guys all right that's wind and that's fire electricity so I'm just going to do a melee attack here. Oop. That's the one. Baton pass. Let's do Ryuji. All out attack. Oh wow, I f figured I would have taken out both of them. Keep it up. Oh, there he is. Eh, let's just continue, come on. Alright, so we're here at this spot again. So we're going to be going into unknown territory. Alright, don't touch anything or run to any of the displays. Alright, so here we go. Now let's see. All right, I can't go that way, so we're gonna go this way. I can see it. Here's the safe room. A safe room. I'm gonna I'm gonna head in here so I have a fast travel point. Huh. All right. Looks like we got some infrared ah. sensors around here. I guess the museum would have pretty tight security. Yeah, that would make sense. The shack turned into a museum. I don't know nothing about art, but how about all that gold stuff? All right, Ryuji, calm down. It's not like we can actually take anything from here. Well, except for the main treasure, but details. All right, so let's see. We got we got something new. However, I can't take I can't take him because he he is actually a higher level than I am. Or maybe I can. I'll try. I don't. I think I can. All right, so I do have I do have a curse weakness. I do have a curse skill. So use fire. Alright, so I can, probably because I've already talked probably because I've already got him. Not bad.
Okay. All right, let's see. Let's go in here. I see a treasure chest. Take out this guy. Show me your true form. All right. Weak to fire. Oh, come on! You know what? Let's attack that guy. Got an atom ring, it's an accessory. Now then I need to get up there, but I think to do that I need to go out I need to go outside. Take this guy out. I'll reveal your true form. All right, I don't, I don't have any way to uh, to attack his weakness, and I can't use. I can use physical guns, bless, or curse skills. None of that will work. Seeing what we got, I'm seeing what I got here. Oh, I do. Let's see, is it gonna let? No, it is not. So I'm just gonna do an all-out attack. There we go. We got to level up. And we learned a new skill, Lucky Punch. Uh, minuscule physical damage to one foe with a high chance of critical. So if that lands, there's a, good, there's a chance it might, it might do critical damage. And we got a... Uh, Maragi, this is an up. This is a better version of the Agi, because this one does light damage, light fire damage to all foes. All right. Shadow defeated. All right, I want to go Joker. this way. First, I'm going to grab this. And we're going to head up here. And this is the up there that I was talking about. Oh, what an idea! Mm. Right, so let's head across here. And there's a treasure chest. A treasure chest. Let's open it. We got fire magtama. I think that'll just cause just cause uh, some fi uh, fire damage to a certain foe.
Oops. Let's see, I think this leads back to the front. Yes, this leads back to the front entrance. So here's a little here's a little shortcut if we ever need it. We can steal this. Another animal rush. All right, so let's keep let's keep going. I can see it. Hey, wait a second. You're just going to ignore that golden sheen? Hmm. Look at that luster. I know it might be tough to take with us, but don't you think it'd sell for tons? Come on, we didn't come here to... Wait, hold on, you're stepping on something. Isn't this bad? Get back! Oh no, I tripped the security. Uh, you were the one making us be careful, too. So, what do you want to do? Run out of here? No, passing through all of these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on! Joker's not trapped! Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. Alright, so we gotta, get, we gotta rescue our team. So we're gonna jump up here. To this side of the glass case. Now we do want to be careful because there are still enemies. We're gonna ambush this guy. Feel your true form. And right now we're fighting by ourselves. But thankfully I do have a weakness for this that's curse. And I'm actually going to try my luck here. I'm going to go to items. I'm going to try the straw doll. Because it's a curse skill, it actually might work. So let's see. It did work. All right. Okay. I can they were it. nothing. All right, so I want... I'm going to use my third eye. This is what I'm looking for. We're going to press it. Yes! Alright, so we're able to rescue on. Seriously, thank you. Alright, so now we need to go get Skull and Mona. And now we can actually keep going. So I'm going to come back over here, jump back up. I'm going to go all the way over to the other side. All right, there's another enemy. This is a good position. Not exactly how I intended that, but it works. Weak to fire. Gonna go ahead and do fire to all enemies. We're gonna do it again. There we go. So yeah, the, the attacks to all enemies, it does cost more SP. However, it will be it's good because there might be two enemies that have the same weakness. So instead of doing your one your single attack one at a time, just do the all-out all attack to everybody. Now also be careful because if there's someone that okay. that will block or neutralize, um, no, uh, reflect or new or is no or is or is not affected at all by by that attack, then if it's reflect, you'll get attacked. If it's nullified, it won't do anything. So always so keep that keep stuff like that in mind. All right, so I think we need to move. This painting. Is this? So we're gonna we're gonna move it, and that reveals a switch, which we're gonna press. 
And that frees frees uh, Ryuji. Yeah. Sorry. All right, now let's get Mona out of there. But first, we're gonna have to turn the lasers off. There should be a control room for them. Hopefully, it's nearby. So we're gonna actually we're gonna get out of here. There's an air vent right here. Whoa! Wait! As I was saying. Hey, Joker. Something here I'm wondering about. Sure. Yeah. Maybe this will turn off turn off the lasers. We need a password. Let's, we'll see, They're, it's not going to be just lying around. Maybe, we sh maybe we'll find someone who has it. And actually, conveniently, just out here, there's two guards talking. Did you hear about those intruders? Yeah, you mean the thieves sneaking around in here? I got a call telling me to change the password, just in case. And, what did you change it to? Hello? What? I said hello. 07734. If you read the numbers upside down, they spell out the word hello. Isn't that a little childish? Eh, it should be fine as long as nobody else finds out. It's not like anyone's eavesdropping on us. Anyway, don't forget. When you see the code input, be sure to say hello. Did you hear that? Sure did. Come on, Joker. Let's go say hello to that to that terminal thing. Before that, though, let's take this guy out. I'll reveal your true form. All right. So they're all weak to fire. So knock them all down at once, and then do an all-out attack. Now you probably noticed when I was playing as just Joker. I wasn't able to do an all-out attack. That's because you need at least two people for an all-out attack to work. And Joker has to be one of them. If Joker is down e either because somebody hit his weakness or he hasn't set a, an ailment of some kind, then the all-out attack won't work. Yeah. Alright, password should be 07734. And that did it. Nice. Yeah, let's go grab grab Mona and keep going. Sorry. That was very much unlike me. Weren't you the one telling us not to go around touching touching the exhibit? That is true. I can't believe I made such a novice mistake even for solid gold. But something was drawing me to this vase. What do you mean? Hmm. Isn't it just an ordinary gold vase? I wonder if there's something special about it. Should we take a closer look just in case? Yes, let's. <sighs> what is this? For real? That's why I was drawn to it. Joker, catch it. I'll explain the rest of this later. Just get after it and attack! So this is a gemmed persona. They don't attack, they'll run away after a couple turns. We can either capture it or defeat it. If we defeat it, we'll get a lot we'll get lots of we'll get lots of lots of um, money. If we capture it, then we can use it in persona fusions. We can't actually use it use it as a regular persona. All right, so I do have a I do have a um, nuclear attack, so I'm just gonna do wind. I think that I think all of these gemmed personas, their defense is as high as it's gonna be. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna run away here here after a couple after a couple couple shots. So now that I now that I'm here now that I'm at uh, Joker. All 
Alright, so that knocked it down. We're gonna talk to it. And now we can use that in, um, in Persona Fusions in the Velvet Room. I'm gonna get rid of Pixie here. That was pretty nice, considering it was your first time running into one. What was that? That panther was a rare shadow that occasionally resides in pricey items. I call them treasure demons. They're great. Not only do they give you a lot of experience, they might be useful for your personas too. However, they run very fast, and attacks don't deal very much damage to them. So, we will occasionally come across treasure demons, they are more likely to you're more likely to find them if the security level is higher. But considering I'm always sneaking I'm always sneaking around and trying to keep the keep the security level as low as possible, there are gonna be be fairly rare rare find finding them. Ah oh, nice! We can use this as a safe room. Alright, so now we can tra see if travel uh quick travel here. All right, so let's keep going. All right, we can't go straight ahead, so we're going to have to go up here. Look at where the security guard is walking. So that's actually one of those optical illusions, where from one angle, look, it, lo it looks like it's a giant hole in the ground, but it's actually just a paint. It's actually just a painting. So if you drop down, you'll see it's, act it's actually not a giant hole. Show me your true form. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Ton pass. Wait. Less attacks won't do anything. Find another way. This isn't it. You can hit their weakness. Go down. I'm gonna do this. Cool, Joker. Baton pass. We'll do Ryuji. Here we go. Alright, now we're actually here at the restrooms, and there's actually something in each one. So we're going to start by going in here. We've got a picture scroll. And now, we're going to go in the other one. And we got another accessory. So that's fire. That's also fire. Alright, so I'm going to use wind on this guy. There we go. something different this person they may not be be a guard shadow like we've seen but it is still a shadow and if they spot us the security level will go up
Alright, baton pass. Go ahead and do this again. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that, but it's alright. Just do an all out attack. So we got Adverse Resolve, and it increases critical rate when surrounded. All right. I'm actually going to use a couple items here. Uh, number one, I'm going to use this to recover Morgana and An's health. And then... We're gonna use the um, some of our coffee. I like to use coffee on everybody. Here we go. I have something. Whoop. Huh? Intruders in the second exhibit room. Apprehend them at once. Let's get out of here fast. Which way is the exit? There's actually going to be a couple switches in here that will reveal where the exit is. Show me your true form. But it'll be easier if we're not dealing with these guys. Alright, so let's, let's baton pass to on. Let's not use all. Let's not use fire attacks on everybody. Another baton pass. There's the other one. They were nothing. Show me your true form. All right. So these are all all weak to fire. So I'm just gonna get get a uh, on up here. And all out attack. So let's see here. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Hit the switch. And that will actually get us out of here. Now there's a safe room right over there, but I'm not going to go to it just yet. We're going to head this way. There may be a safe room here. Whoa! Roadblock! Whoa! The hell? Are these infrared lasers? There's no way we can get past them. This level of security only proves there's something worth protecting up ahead. Wait, there's something written on the sign. All personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious as it is impossible to open from the outside. So, it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Oh, right! There's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. 
Guys, let's head back. Huh? Why? I think I know what real world door that's based on. There may be another way to open it. In any case, I'll explain later. Come on, let's go. I guess we'll listen to Morgana for the time being. So, unfortunately, this is as far as we're going to be able to get. Let's head back. So, we're going to head back home and come up with a plan. And that's why I didn't go to the safe to the safe room just yet cuz I knew we were going to be turning around. And from here, let's uh, fast fast travel to the museum entrance. And let's leave. Well then. Alright, so our infiltration log. Almost halfway through. Come on, man. How are we supposed to get past that door? I don't know. I think there's some kind of off switch somewhere? Looks like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Matarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Whoa, so this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. So? Where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Matarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words... When we open the one in Matarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Definitely can't hurt to try. Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Matarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh! Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! We're not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Matarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? I don't see any of their options. But what if, you know, uh, um, nothing. All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. There's no other way. I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Uh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice. 
Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, all right? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down. I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but... Uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know. Just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? The only way. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Madarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady On to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. So we will occasionally in palaces come across something that we just saw where we're going to have to leave and change something. So keep that in mind as you're going through palaces with your with your deadline date. If we had come across that and it was like the, la the last day, then we would have been royally screwed. So that's something to keep in mind. So next time, will On have have to strip naked for for a mo for a modeling gig, or will we be able to complete our objective before that happens? That'll be that. That's what we'll find out next time. Until then, this has been General Kenobi. We'll catch y'all later.